Okay then, my Tyler Perry Sisters fans, it's your girl Bobby J here, and I have a question for all of you. And the question is, because I did a video uh, recently, about a month ago, about will Maurice have a claim for his lawsuit? Is he going to sue the bank and get his job back? But I didn't think he had claims on it, even though uh, Sabrina kept suggesting he just apply at another branch, which I'm thinking more than likely he's done, even though I'm hearing people thinking that he won his lawsuit. I don't think he had grounds for that lawsuit, but maybe he does have grounds for another type of position at another branch, which he would probably try to go to Sabrina's branch because she's an assistant manager over there and not a manager. But the question I have because I'm concerned is that did he get his position back at the bank or is he doing this online uh, thing? Remember, he was doing some kind of online sexy something, whatever, you know, uh, <laughs> content creator stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out here and I wanted to find out if any of you know, but because according to the different characters, okay, the different characters for season seven, we see that there's a white man's voice heard over a video chat while Maurice does a sexy webcam show. Okay, that's one thing. Then we see Grayson. He's a, a black, tall, and sexy man in his 30s with a nice physique. And he shows up at a bar for a one-on-one -on -one meet with Maurice, whom he's been following on social media. Okay, now... We have a fan and a major fan of the Throat Goat, which I'm thinking is the name of Maurice's um, podcast, The Throat Goat. And he spots Maurice, who is having dinner, a dinner date with a handsome gentleman and loudly demands a selfie with his idol. Only the fan is too geek frenzy to realize that he's overstepping some boundaries. So that sounds like Maurice has this online business, this online uh, podcast going on. And with that name, the dope goat throat or whatever, I'm assuming it's something a little nasty, nasty boy. You nasty, nasty boy. Yeah, I know how Maurice is anyway. <laughs> but then here's three other characters who make me think that Maurice is back at the bank. First, we have Todd. Who he works for Sabrina at the bank and has a rather contentious relationship with Maurice. Y'all know Maurice always getting into it with somebody. Next, we have Carrie. She's in her 30s. She's white and she's one of Sabrina's employees. She's in a heated argument with Maurice. The two are hurling insults at each other after Carrie accuses him of stealing her soda. So it looks, it's like Maurice went in the refrigerator. And stole her, her drink or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just like, <laughs> it's seeming like he's at work. You know, the shared refrigerator with everybody's stuff in it. And then lastly, we have Mabel. She's six in her 60s, black, a motherly type. And she's a bank customer. Pleased to see Maurice back at work. So back at work, when they say it that way, it makes it seem like he's back at the other branch at Woodhaven. But is he at this, but I think he would have to be in this new branch over here with Sabrina with her being involved in his problems with the other employee. So what are y'all thinking? Did Maurice get his job back or maybe did he just apply for a new position at Sabrina's branch? Or do you think that he actually won a lawsuit and pursued a lawsuit? Because as far as I know, he didn't have money for a lawsuit. And even the money he would spend to have to pay for a lawsuit, he would basically, uh, <laughs> that would be his whole salary or whatever he got back, right? Whatever it is he's trying to sue them for. Because he did have complaints about him, customer complaints. So you can't really sue when you have a bunch of customer complaints unless you never spoke to him about it. And then that would be on Sabrina or Sabrina's fault because she was his manager and Sabrina should have spoken to him about it. The truth is, as his manager, Sabrina should have checked him. 
but because he's her friend, she let him get away with disrespecting her and calling her out of her name at work and not paying attention to the things that she's telling him to do. So that's, that's why it's not good to be the boss over your friend, your friend's boss or manager or something, because they think because y'all homegirls or homeboys or whatever, y'all kicking it or whatever, you don't have to listen and obey the things. And that puts you in a certain position. So you always have to make sure that you don't get, you don't get yourself in that type of situation. You have to work hard at not doing that or know how to separate friendship from business. And lastly, let's just say, Maybe Maurice took an entry level position at the new bank, but he still needs money and he's doing this, um, this the throat, goat, goat throat, <laughs> you know, online commentator stuff for extra money. Maybe he's doing it for extra money or something that's fun that he likes doing. But y'all put it down in the comment section, what y'all think it is that Maurice is doing. I'm going to assume that he did not file a lawsuit. But he did apply for another job like Sabrina suggested. And he is doing this um, online stuff because a lot of us commentators have jobs plus do this. So why can't Maurice do it as well? So put it down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts and your two cents about this. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. If you feel so compelled to do so, write a comment and join the conversation and share because in 2024, sharing is caring. Happy New Year's and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.